Okay guys, I'm back in Kenshin Impact. It's been so long since I did a story quest. I thought I'll do one hangout event before 3.0 release. <laughs> so many hangout events I haven't done. So, we'll start from the most right, Diona. Let's start. Talk to Nimrod right here. Drinks at the cat's tail. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, hey, it's you, traveler. Uh, huh? <laughs> You've never heard of the cat's tail? <sighs> Judging from your expression, seems like you really don't know the place. <laughs> Boy, have you been missing out. <sighs> the cat's tail is renowned for its incredible specialty drinks. I'm talking... Drinks you've uh, definitely never tasted before. And, just as its name suggests, there are loads of cute kitties at the cat's tail. Time simply starts slipping away when you're enjoying a delicious specialty cocktail and surrounded by a bunch of cute kitties. <laughs> uh, but you don't Caffeine. seem of age to drink yet. <laughs> well, that shouldn't be a problem. Diana will be there. She's the best bartender in all of Mondstadt. It should be a piece of cake for her to whip you up a drink with no alcohol in it. Oh, and uh, not to mention, uh, Diana is also pretty cute. Just like a little kitty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, did I say that out loud? Uh, uh, please don't tell her I said that. Anyway, if you want to check out the cat's tail for yourself, the entrance is just around uh, the back. I'm gonna <laughs> go over there and sober up a bit. I don't think I can handle a fifth round quite yet. <laughs> uh, I drank way too much already. Okay. Talk to Diana, well. I can see her there. <laughs> Because all the drinks you make are so delicious. All it takes is just one sip and they're hooked. Hmm. And I thought self-control was the most important quality of being an adult. Well, it just so happens that self-control often falls by the wayside when someone's enjoying one of your delicious specialty drinks. All that means is that they're nothing but a bunch of drunkards that don't know when to stop. Hey, who you calling Kitty? Haven't you seen any one of the Cat's Line bloodline before? Oh, hello there. Are you here to visit the cat's tail? Uh, I'll say this one first. Oh, you're here for the drinks? Unfortunately, we're pretty much out of ingredients. Besides, besides, you don't look like you're even old enough to drink yet. A non-alcoholic beverage? There are tons of other places in Mondstadt that serve that. But seeing as you came all the way to a tavern for a non-alcoholic drink? That must mean you have your own views about alcohol, right? Unless... You just want to try a drink because you think it's the romantic thing that adults do. Huh. Those sleazy old men over there once thought the same thing, you know. Uh, I just don't get why everyone is so obsessed with alcohol. What's so good about it anyway? That's enough, Diona. <laughs> this traveler obviously made a trip here to have a drink. We should always do our best to satisfy the customer's needs. Consider this the tavern management's request. Uh, oh, all right. So one special cocktail is all I need to make, right? Fine. Since you seem to fantasize about alcohol so much, I'll make you something that'll crush whatever dreams you had about the stuff. That way, maybe you won't become another one of those annoying and smelly old drunks. Though we do have some drink base and flavoring ingredients left. Since you're looking for a special drink, I'm willing to put in the effort and search for some special ingredients. But considering the time, I can only make either the drink's base or flavoring more special. So, what'll it be? The drink's base or flavoring to be more unique? Hmm. A drink with a special base, huh? Hmm. Looks like you already possess plenty of potential to become a roaring drunkard. I'm gonna have to really knock some sense into you with this one. 
Anyway, let's head to Dada Upa Gorge. I know just the place to find a unique drink base. Right then. According to the adventurer, it seems like the Sama Trolls made these drinks to grant the tribe more energy. The adventurer also said that just by taking a single whiff of it, and I quote, mm -mm, I wasn't able to determine whether or not I took in the spell, because as soon as I tried to smell it, it felt like my nose was being trampled by a hundred forest boars. I couldn't feel my nose anymore, let alone smell anything. <laughs> Even though he lost his sense of smell, he still remembered to come and drink. He even started telling me that my delicious cocktails would help his nose regain its sense of smell again. What a hopeless drunk. He was probably just exaggerating and hoping for more drinks. But whether or not he was exaggerating is not important. The idea of using a hilly churl drink as a base for my cocktails <laughs> is one I'm definitely interested in. Of course. You wanted a specialty drink, right? Special drinks require special ingredients. No need to worry. This will be one drink you'll remember forever. Now that listen up. I have that old adventurer <laughs> mark the location for me. So all we have to do is get there and grab what we need. Since we're only on the outskirts of Dadaupa Gorge, we'll have to walk further in. We still have quite a ways to go. I also told my father about the Samaturl herbal soup. He said that he would keep an eye out for it. But he's probably just saying that. Once he's had enough drinks in him, he can't even remember his own name. Let alone the herbal soup I mentioned. Oh well. Someone's approaching. Didn't know there was more there now. Uh, Diona, is that you? Huh? Oh, I know you. You're the one that usually goes hunting with my father. Yeah, my name is Alan. I'm part of the hunting team that draft fleets. Huh. So if you're here, that means my father is also somewhere nearby. Well, where is he, huh? Oh, I bet he drank too much again after the hunt and fell asleep somewhere, waiting for someone to drag him back to Springvale. I... Uh, I wish that were the case. I'm afraid that Draft... well... He, he rushed into Dada Upa Gorge by himself. Wait, what? You see, Draft brought us hunting in the area nearby. Thanks to him, the hunt went really well and we managed to catch lots of game. After the hunt, we stopped to rest for a bit before we'd head back to Springvale. So, we started a bonfire, got some barbecue going, and... Well, had a little to drink. Honest, we only drank a little, you know, just to <laughs> celebrate the hunt. But after a few drinks, Draft started saying that he wanted to go get something from a uh -oh. hilly churl tribe in the depths of Dada Uba Gol. He refused to let any of us accompany him. Sounds Instead, similar. he kept saying that he's a descendant of the Ketzline bloodline and that he could come and go as he pleases in a place like this. Before we could say anything, he rushed out by himself. There's no way we could stop him. I had a hunter who's quick on his feet run back to Springvale to find help and sent a few veteran hunters into the gorge to look for Draft, but... Ugh, that stupid old man. And it's all because he had something to drink, right? I don't know how many times I've told him not to drink. He just won't listen. <sighs> I'll go look for him and see what kind of trouble he's got himself into this time. No, wait. It's too dangerous for you to go alone, Diona. Let's wait for more help to arrive and go find him together. I'm also the cat's line bloodline, and I'm much better on my feet than he is. And most importantly, I don't drink. So I won't be making any of the mistakes that he would. You're... Oh, you're the honorary knight. Oh, there should be nothing to worry about with you by your side. I'll leave you to it. <sighs> you're coming with me to Dada Upa Gorge? There'll be a lot of monsters in there. I wouldn't want to stir them up all at once. So I plan on sneaking by the monsters to find my stupid father. 
What's your plan? Does it matter? We can avoid them too. <laughs> really? All right then. But if you do startle them, be sure not to lure them to me. Actually, <laughs> it wouldn't really matter because you won't be able to figure out where I'm headed anyway. Let's bounce yeah. to it then. I'll mark the route on your map. Oh, make sure to stick to the route. I'm not coming back for you if you get lost. <laughs> Wait, let me. What could Traff be looking for that made him just charge straight in like? Okay. Hey, there's loads of monsters ahead. Be careful. You don't want to shake up the entire gorge, do you? D -d -don't, don't think that I'm worried about you, because I'm not. If you get noticed, then I'll definitely be in trouble too. So, so just be be careful, okay? So you have to sneak, avoid the monsters, and head deeper. Oh boy, this might be this is gonna be tough. How the? Heck? Is this possible? This is like taking the the two supplies in commission. Let's go, let's go. Hey, move more to the side and stay hidden. Otherwise they'll spot you. <sighs> Why did I choose a void? <laughs> I don't see, there's one up there, huh? I'm gonna get spotted, what the heck? If I go up, is it safe? Oh shit. Right. Oh, we've been spotted. Oh. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. That is difficult. <laughs> Why did I choose avoid? <laughs> this is harder than battling. Oh. Where's the next spot? Oh my gosh Why to go there? Oh, ho, ho. made it. Huh. huh, not bad. You were able to keep up. Huh. That stupid old man should be here somewhere. Let's search around. Head to the helicopter cam. Is that? Yep, there it is. Right, you 
<laughs> be here for that super herb. Sir. What was that again? Oh, I found it. Just for you. It's all here in my flask. <laughs> Look, it's full of soup. Or whatever this stuff is. Oh, come on, Daddy. Pull yourself together. Whew. How much did you have to drink? Mm, not much, really. Just usual amount. <laughs> here, take my flask with the herbal soup stuff that you were looking for. I'm going to continue the hunt. <laughs> you know, good idea. I saw this huge, I mean huge hilly hog next to the tribe's camp. <laughs> you don't know a hilly hog? It's like a forest boar. I saw it next to the hilly troll <laughs> tribe's camp. It's, it's called a hilly hog. Boy, you sure don't know anything about hunting. <laughs> And not only were there hilly hogs, there were hilly hounds, too. Ugh, don't you know anything? <laughs> well, if we can hunt that hilly hog, it'd mean a lot of food for a long time. <sighs> Looks like he's enjoyed himself today. Looking forward to see. Hey, keep it together. You're not the one that's drunk. Oh, silly old man. <sighs> I doubt he can even walk straight in this state. <sighs> If we're gonna get him out of here, we need to sober him up. Good thing I know just what to make for him. But given how much he usually drinks, I'll need ingredients that'll pack a real punch. Hmm, perhaps the herbal soup made by the Sama Charles will come in handy. Yeah, drive safe on some. <laughs> I wouldn't trust a single word this old drunk says. But go ahead and talk to him if you believe him. <sighs> it's probably nothing but some leftover booze in his flask anyway. Hmm? Oh, sure, dear, take it. Just don't spill it. It took a lot of... <clears throat> a lot of work to get that stuff. <sighs> you actually asked him for the soup? Come on! Don't waste any more time, there's only... Oh, oh, what's that smell? <clears throat> get that stuff away from me! Oh, yeah! Wait, <laughs> could this really be that herbal soup? How about that? Daddy, remember what you <coughs> told me. Uh, give your old man some credit. I made a promise and I kept it. <laughs> I would never let my baby down. <laughs> my genius father. What are you going to use to hold your booze in now that you filled your flask with this stuff? <laughs> I'll just drink straight from the bottle. <laughs> it's not a problem. <laughs> not a problem at all. Right, I'll whip up a concoction to sober him up. It won't take long. This soup was meant to give him Hilly Churl's energy. Combined with some ingredients I have, this should snap this him thing. right out of it. <laughs> Good thing I brought my shaker with me. <sighs> It'll be a waste to use up all the ingredients at once. Hmm. I have my ways. Just sit back and watch. <sighs> all right. It's finished. Here, Daddy. Drink this. No, I, I can't drink anymore. I, if I drink more, my daughter will be very angry with me. No more. Can't drink <laughs> anymore. Drinking now it is bad. Huh? That, that. Why would he remember stuff like that now? Oh, come on. Just drink it. <gasps> oh, hey, this tastes pretty good. good Fine, I'll drink a little bit. Just a little bit, though. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Just a little bit. Now down the hatch. <sighs> wow. Wow, that was incredible. Huh? What, what are you doing? Doing here, Diona? Oh, and why does my head hurt so bad? <sighs> that seemed to do the trick. If you're sober now, then let's hurry and get out of here. Uh, huh? Oh, right. I remember now. I came here looking for something. <laughs> I think it was some kind of herbal soup or something. Yeah, that's it. Herbal soup. The one you told me about last time, Diona. Samatros make that stuff, and, and I found it. 
I filled my whole flask with it, too. It'll definitely be enough for you. It's right here. It... Wait. Where's my flask? Oh, no. I didn't lose it, did I? Really? Did I drink too much again? Oh. Uh, never mind, Daddy. I'm already used to it. Now that you're sober, let's start heading back. Alan and the others are waiting at the entrance. Ah, oh, that's right. Uh, I completely forgot about Alan. How do you feel, Daddy? If you still can't walk, the Traveler can help you. No, no, I'm fine. Let's get going. I must have gotten carried away <laughs> with my drinking again. Diona, I'm... <sighs> Daddy, I've seen it all before. Besides, you've done way weirder things when you've been drinking. Like, the time you chased dogs around town calling them a hilly house. <laughs> or that other time you filled empty bottles with the town's spring water and kept chugging them. Oh, oh, and don't forget that time you begged my wife to write you a song about a hunter and his <sighs> loyal hilly hound. All right, all right, that's enough. The traveler can hear you, you know. <laughs> what you did this time was actually pretty normal compared to what you've done in the past. <sighs> Good thing I found that herbal soup. Otherwise, we really would have been up a creek without a paddle. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. Huh? What did you say? I couldn't hear you very well. Um, <laughs> I, I said don't drink so much. Okay, okay, I know. I'll try to drink less from now on. <sighs> Silly old man. Talk to Ellen, we're going back then. you're all right. I was about to report to the Knights of Favonius if you took any longer. Are you okay, Traff? I'm fine, thanks to Diona and the Traveler. Otherwise, things might have ended very differently. Alan, go round up the others. Let's tally up our game and head back to Springvale. Understood. I'll get right on it. Diona, Traveler, will you be coming back to Springvale with us? No, we only came here for the herbal soup. And since you've already found it for us, we'll return to Mondstadt. All right. Oh, but... Do you still have enough left over after making this stuff to sober me up? Of course we do! I'm a professional bartender. There's no way I'd use up all my ingredients at once. <laughs> the remainder <laughs> will be enough for what I need. We'll Some be on our way spoilers. back to Mondstadt then. Just hurry up and get yourself back to Springfield, Daddy. Oh, and don't drink so much! I know, I know. Don't worry. I mean, I don't even have my flask anymore. Yeah, right. Who knows how many more of those you have? <laughs> Traveler, we've gathered all the ingredients we need. Now let's head back to the cat's tail. When we arrive, I'll make you a supreme specialty drink that will shatter every fantasy you've ever had about booze. Uh, drinking sure causes a lot of trouble. I really need to control myself from now on. Draft, everyone's ready. We can head out once we've tallied up the hunt. <laughs> Back to Monster then. Yep. All right, let's go inside. I'll clean my shaker and pour out the herbal soup from the old man's flask. What's wrong? Didn't you want a cocktail? Why are you just staring like that? Ah, so that's what you're wondering. Huh, I can't help it. Basically, any drink that's made by my hands can only be a good drink. <sighs> this isn't bartender's pride talking. This is a fact. Regardless of the type of ingredients or method, as long as I make the drink myself, it's bound to be delicious. Mm, however, that's just the way it is for now. I've been searching for a solution, and the herbal soup is one of the ingredients that I've been searching for. And once I find the solution, I'll show those old booze hounds how terrible alcohol really is. <laughs> anyway, aren't you here for a drink yourself? Come on in. I have plenty of ingredients to whip you up something special inside. And after I make you my specialty drink, <laughs> I promise you'll never want to set foot in another tavern ever again. Uh, well, yeah. But I also said that's only for now. There are plenty of methods and ingredients I haven't tried yet. <sighs> Just hurry up and come in. 
a prepare for specialty drink that I'm making just for you. Meow. <laughs> but that's a catch. Should you copy that back? <laughs> I'm a bit confused with Diana. She makes the drinks, but she doesn't like people. I'm a bit confused too. <laughs> Let's see more of this. That's an achievement. Eh? Okay. How many endings are there? Five, right? So. There's three ways we could go on. Oh, so that's for the base string. So if it's not base string, it's something here. This also got two different endings. Oh, I think this one is if we didn't use the soup. Okay, continue from here. I want to get the other ending. You get all five endings in this video. I'm here. Yeah, I'm okay, skip through. Okay, bring some of the herbal soup back. Herbal soup? I've got some right here. <gasps> I'm sure of it. Uh, he's not sobering up anytime soon. I'll stay here and keep an eye on the drunk old fart. Good luck. Uh, take it. The herbal soup is in my flask. I still have that hilly hog to catch. <laughs> or wait, was it a hilly hound? It doesn't matter. Okay, let's take them out. Find the sound of your herbs. Oh, I this tree. It's not this one. It's probably the end one. Or this one near the, the pot maybe. Ha! Wouldn't gliding be faster? So it's the third one there. This one. Talk to Diana. Ingredients that 
counter intoxication as well. The herbal soup was meant to energize hilly churls, so I'm pretty sure it'll work on my old man too. Hmm, however... I'm not going to mix the concoction myself. Otherwise, even that will turn out delicious. Huh. The concoction needs to be as potent as possible. Hey! Maybe you can mix it while I guide you. It's quite simple. Just be sure to mix the ingredients evenly. The stronger it is, the more effective it will be. Let's get started mixing so we can sober him up. Doesn't look good. <laughs> this should be enough. Just keep it away from me. Ooh, my nose can't take it. <laughs> Bring it to my foolish father and have him drink it. Ooh, on second thought, just a good wish should do the job. Now, where's that hilly? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on now. Here, hilly, hilly, hilly. <laughs> what is it? A drink, huh? Is it alcohol? Perfect. If I just have a little more, that hilly hog won't ever outrun me. <laughs> oh, what is that? <laughs> oh, shit. still has that in the flask, by the way. And the next thing I know, this traveler is making me smell that thing. And? And that's it. I don't remember anything else. Was there something important? You brought something in the oh. flask. Uh, I, I, oh, Diona, how about you give Daddy a little hint? Come on now. Nope. Forget it. Let's just go back and find Alan. How is this going to end up now? Diona and the Honorary Knight. You brought Traff back. What happened to you, Traff? You look awful. I was sobered up. Don't worry, I'm fine now. I just need to go back and get some rest. Uh, Alan, if you could give me a hand. Oh, of course. Diona, Traveler, thank you for all your help. I will be taking Traff back to Springvale now. He looks like he's going to have to rest for quite some time. See? This is what happens when you drink. Just remember that. No drinking! But who knows what'll happen in the future. Just remember, drinking causes nothing but trouble. Alcohol is poison. It makes people foolish and makes them do terrible things. It somehow brings out the worst side of the best people. That includes incredible hunters like my daddy. After drinking, he's worse than a hilly hog and a hilly hound, or oh, whatever he calls 
all of those things. <sighs> Unfortunately, we used up all the herbal soup you managed to get just to sober him up. But no use crying over spilled milk. I'll have to make you a drink some other time. Let's head back. It's getting late. So this is the other ending. Okay. On the end. Alright. I wonder the other one as an achievement. This ending that there's no drink meat. <laughs> so I assume the other others also don't have Uh yeah, this one done. Let's do the bottom one. I'm not sure which one is the bottom one, but start again. the same thing but we don't see the base this time. Oh, besides, you don't look like you're even ha huh, that unless uh, that's enough. Consider this uh, fine. That way, though we do have but consider so a drink with special flavoring, huh? Well that'll be easy enough. I was planning on looking for some more flavorings anyway. Hm, I got a list of things we can search for. Right, so now Let's what? go visit Blanche first. I placed an order for some flavoring ingredients that should be ready by now. Welcome. Is there anything you need? Hello, Blanche. I came to pick up my order. Diana, yes. Fifteen lizard tails, seven vials of butterfly dust. Hmm. Everything other than the what? bottle of frog mucus is ready. Yeah, no rush on that. I'll take whatever's ready. Someone from the tavern will come to settle the bill later. All right. Thank you for your business. Well, <laughs> yeah, I did ask Tobias before about what ingredients they used to improve the taste of alchemic medicine. He mentioned things like lizard tails and crystal cores, but I think crystal cores overlap too much with the texture of ice cubes, so I chose not to use them. I have, however, always wanted to try frog mucus. According to Timaeus, it can make the texture of a drink as thick as mud. <laughs> now, now, all we have left to get is some fish scales and slime condensate. Let's search for those in the wild. Once we have everything, I can make you that drink. Okay. You're also here for Mondstadt's wine, aren't you? to be fresh then so I have to get the fish fresh fish 
I got more than <laughs> I got three maybe. Okay. Did you catch any fresh fish? Wow! You swim really well. And you're almost as good at catching fish as the cats I look after. First we need to scrape off the scales. Oh, and make sure you also collect the mucus on the fish. Ooh, ooh, whoa, the smell of fish. Ooh, along with that unique grassy smell, it's ah, so strong. But that's okay. It's the potent aroma we need. <laughs> it's too much for you, huh? Hmm, I guess I can understand. You're not a professional bartender. After all, your tolerance for special ingredients is not like mine. All right, that'll just about do it. Soaking the scales in the mucus collected from the fish will help preserve them for now. Next, we need to get some slime condensate. I know a place with tons of slime. Let's go! Fresh fish scales. <laughs>
This looks like two different options. That's it. Was that enough for you? You mean we have to go to Dawn Winery? Couldn't we also go to Angel's Share? I mean, they have a full range of mixing tools. Hmm. Well, you are the bartender at the Cat's Tail, right? Given that the Cat's Tail and Angel's Share are competitors, hmm. it would be rather inappropriate if you were to mix drinks there. That would probably cause quite a bit of trouble for Margaret as well. Besides, there are many loyal patrons at Angel's Share. With your reputation, it'd cause quite a commotion if you were to be seen mixing drinks there. In any case, I wouldn't recommend going to Angel's Share. Besides, the winery's close by. There's no need for us to go so far. Pisa has been practicing this speech. Speaking of the winery, won't that guy Elzer be there? Elzer? Sure, he'll be there. But he's been busy lately taking care of guild matters. Why do you ask? <laughs> Just as long as he's not around, our little exchange here is between just the two of us. It'd be best if others don't get involved. Oh, except for the traveler here. We've been out collecting ingredients together. He's kind of like, uh, my assistant. He'll be allowed to participate. <laughs> um, <laughs> fine by me. Shall we get going? The winery isn't far. We'll be there in no time. All right. So we're going to Don Winery.
already prepared all the tools we need. Sure, they're a little... basic, but they should do just fine. I've also prepared a top-shelf bottle of dandelion wine to use as a drink base. Oh, I've also heard that you don't like to see people drink too much. Am I right? So today, we'll strictly just exchange techniques. There will be no talk of drinking, and even if we try the drinks, we'll just only have a little taste. How's that sound? Fine, I suppose. These tools will suffice. Uh, <laughs> well, we've always been hoping to invite Diona to our winery to instruct us on her techniques of mixing drinks. Though the preparations have been made, we've just never had the chance. So how could I not be fully prepared now that she's willing to come today? <laughs> oh, and okay. to keep things fair, we'll need an impartial judge. Well, we have the honorary knight. Yes, but he doesn't look... <laughs> so honest and forthcoming. You are, after all, the honorary knight of the Knights of Favonius. What impressive discipline. Hmm. Then who could we find to be the judge? Connor! There you are! Uh, I've been looking for you! What are you doing here? Uh, Dian Diana did say about Elza. Elza? Your timing couldn't <laughs> be any more perfect. I'm about to have a little mixing competition with Diona here. What?! Really? That's great! Would it be alright if I stayed to observe? Actually, we're looking for a judge. Would you be free to help us out? <laughs> Why, I'd be delighted. It'd be an honor to have an opportunity to have a taste of Diona's craft. A coincidence indeed. What's little Boo Sponge Elzer doing here, hmm? He doesn't think I'm here to collaborate with them, does he? Don't you know? Elzer used to always show up at the cat's tail. Every time he came, he would always be sweet-talking me, trying to get me to work with the Dawn Winery to come up with some sort of new drink. He needs to know that that'll never happen. Not until I figure out how to make the most terrible drink of the world. Uh, so then, shall we begin, Diona? Sure, but like I said before, this is an exchange of techniques as bartenders. Anyone not involved should stay away. What is that supposed to mean? Um, Elzer... Why don't you just take a break over there? We'll bring over the drinks once they're finished. Wait, but I was... Elzer, just... <laughs> All right. I shouldn't disturb the mixing process. I'll uh, be over there. Just let me know if you need me. All right, since I invited you here, I'll begin. Lizard Tail's bitter nature will ruin the alcohol's texture and taste. We should soak it in distilled spirits first to remove the bitterness. Then add it to the dandelion wine later as flavoring. Hmm. Slime condensate in small amounts could improve the texture, but not too much. Otherwise, the alcohol might start to coagulate. The smell of these fish scales is way too strong. There's no way it could go in a drink. And is butterfly dust even edible? <sighs> oh well. Let's start mixing and see what we end up with. And voila, it's done. Elzer, if you could please do the honors. <clears throat> the color and presentation. Hmm. It looks very interesting. Let me have a try. Hmm. Upon an initial taste, the impact of the distilled spirits mixed with the refreshing dandelion wine, along with a hint of bitterness, all work to accentuate the distinct flavor of the drink. And this slightly thicker texture. Hmm. <laughs> it really is a memorable drink. Yes, not bad, Connor. Looks like you finally found the right inspiration to guide your mixing oh, yes. techniques. <laughs> it's Damn all it. thanks to Diona. If she hadn't asked for this little exchange of skills and provided all the ingredients, then I'd probably still be confined to my old techniques and usual ingredients. However, I wasn't able to find a way to use the butterfly dust and fish scales. <sighs> Seems that my creativity is still quite limited. <laughs> no worries. Not everyone possesses Diona's genius intuition and techniques. No need to be so hard on yourself. So, he actually made something good out of these ingredients. Do you remember all the techniques he used? Well, the process wasn't too complicated. Next, all we have to do is follow the same steps. But mess them all up! Alright. First, you could try making a drink using the same techniques. Yeah, why did you just make it? Because... Observation and experimentation come first when a professional bartender is faced with a new mixing technique. As my assistant, 
you must try your best to make a horrible, terrible tasting drink. Meanwhile, I'll watch closely and see if there's any room for improvement. So, Diona's going to be making the next drink for us, right? I just can't wait to see what she'll be making. Sure, but before I do, let's allow my assistant to have a try. He's also very interested in mixing drinks. Is he a bartender as well? Ooh, aren't we lucky. We're in for a treat. Please, this way. All the materials and tools are already prepared. You may start when you're ready. Wait, yet? Don't even know what's the right process is. Remember, do everything completely opposite to how Connor did. This is the only way we can reach my, I mean, our goal. Pretty sure there's two endings here. Wait, where? Here? Oh. Connor soaked the lizard tail and then added the distilled alcohol. Soak the lizard tail, then add the distilled alcohol. The second one is exactly the same, so first one. What the heck? Huh. They added the whole lizard tail without distilling it. Is this some kind of new mixing technique? Yes, nicely done. <laughs> Just make everything a total mess. Connor added a very small portion of slime condensate. Just add them. <laughs> That's right. Add all of it. Uh, this drink is just about ready. All right, Elzer. Could you please do the honors for this one as well? <clears throat> uh, on second <laughs> thought, Connor, I think you should taste this uh, unique drink. Uh, who knows? Maybe you'll find some more inspiration for your mixing. <laughs> Some strange dream. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, but is it even Connor? The most important thing right now is to show Diona our sincerity. Understand? Ah, understood. Uh, but Connor. Same thing. Ah. Oh, to get to Diana, I see. Alright, are you done mixing the drink? Yeah, what the heck is this? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but this drink is way too... Creative. Uh, creative for me. I'm afraid I couldn't stomach it. Uh, yes, this drink is... Uh, very creative. Connor, I think you should taste it. <laughs> Looks like it worked. All we have to do is mess up every step of a professional mixing method, and we end up with an absolutely terrible drink. Is this what <laughs> <laughs> actually yes. aim for? This is a splendid drink you've made. However, I'm afraid we can't serve it to customers like this. Here, hand me the drink. Let's keep the alcohol and dump all the other ingredients. I'll use that as a base to mix a new drink. First, I'll chop the lizard tail into slices. Then, soak it in the drink. Next, add the slime condensate Somehow and stir. Diana's gonna fix it. Leave it to settle for a bit. Finally, we sprinkle the butterfly dust in. <gasps> oh, wait! I almost forgot the fish scales! Ooh. Okay, let's add it to the drink along with the mucus from the jar. And then, we stir. <laughs> Come on, mm. be dreadful. Be it's gonna be, be it's gonna be back to normal. Disgusting. It's gonna be back to normal, isn't it? Uh, Elzer, Diona is mixing a drink. I've never seen such a technique before, but it is Diona after all. She must have her own way, I suppose. Let's see. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. And we're done. <laughs> this specialty drink will be the first blow in tearing down the lives of the alcohol industry. Please, have a taste. Come and realize your 
empty delusions of alcohol. <laughs> Whoa, uh, this taste, why, I've never had anything like it. Let me try. Mm, what a splendid drink. Though the bitterness of an entire See? lizard tail is quite potent, <laughs> it is perfectly complemented by the refreshing and sour flavor of the dandelion wine. In addition, the fish scales that were broken up during the stirring process have lost all their fishiness after soaking in the alcohol. The remaining flavor somehow enriches the taste of the drink. The texture of all the slime condensate after fully absorbing all the alcohol has become rich and dynamic. And lastly, the pinch of butterfly dust adds a finishing touch that makes this drink perfect. It is sensational both visually and in taste. A true display of craftsmanship. Wh what? Yep. The drink I made earlier isn't even worth mentioning compared to this one. Ah, oh, and I thought He's my drink was inspiring. It, <laughs> oh, stop joking around! You two must have drunk so much that your nose and tongue have lost their senses. Huh? Impossible! After all I've done? How is it that my drink still tastes great? Ugh, I must not have messed up enough somewhere. Please, use this drink as your base and try making your drink again. Whatever you do, just make it disgusting. <laughs> you can do it again. I mean, we're doing the same thing though. There's no point if we're doing the same thing. Simply make a terrible drink. The first touch should put the entire. Okay. Let's just still follow that. I, I don't know. Just, just follow her, just follow what she says, still. I feel like it's still the same thing, yo. Sprinkle some butterfly dust on top. Okay, pour a heap. Try to actually follow, I'm not sure now. Let's see. I don't know if this is right. Ooh, yuck! What, what is the smell? The pungent fish smell, sticky slime condensate, and spongy lizard tail. You, 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 not to mention the butterfly dust everywhere. Though you didn't really follow the process we discussed, it seems that you've actually got quite a knack for this. I mean, we kind of did though, right? We followed her oh, same right. step. Let's show this to Elzer and Connor. Ooh, is this another one of Diona's new drinks? Ugh, what, what is this? Even if you purposely tried to botch it, it'd still be hard <laughs> to make something as hideous as this. No, keep it away from me. Please, just take that somewhere else. Huh? What's wrong? This is Diona's specialty drink, right? Let me try. Oh, you are Diona's assistant after all. Your craft must be... Uh, Ahead of the curve. So far ahead of the curve that I... Oh, I don't feel so good. Sorry, uh, I'm just just gonna go over there. <clears throat> In my personal and honest opinion, well, this that's what drink is wanted. absolutely oh, terrible. Aren't you supposed to be Diona's assistant? The drinks that she makes are out of this world. You use the same ingredients and followed nearly the same mixing process, but how is it that the mm. drinks she makes are never bad? It's true. No matter what new and unusual ingredient she uses, Diona has never disappointed a single customer. If you don't believe me, you can ask anyone who's ever gone for a drink in Mondstadt. There's not a single soul that doesn't reminisce about your specialty drinks. All it takes is a single sip, and you'd wish that you could drink it for the rest of your life. Drink? For the rest of your life? Yeah. 
And the most impressive part of it all is the never-ending list of new ingredients that you are using. No matter what kind of ingredients it may be, if you make it, it'll be delicious. <laughs> delicious? After all, you are the genius bartender of Mondstadt, an originator of unique drinks, and the pinnacle of... Huh? Diona, are you all right? No, Connor. You overdid it. Uh, did I really? Sorry, I couldn't control myself. No, stop. Stop joking around. I can make a drink that tastes like that. Here, watch this. Give me that drink you just made. I'll show <laughs> you. I'm going to add all the remaining ingredients. Lizard tail, fish scales, mucus, and a slime condensate. So she cannot make a bad drink. Even though it's the same stuff. And stir. <laughs> Come on, be dreadful, be awful, be absolutely disgusting. Ah, it can't be that hard. Done. <sighs> My all new specialty. And this time. Oh my, what a fragrance. <gasps> and the color. What is this delightful smell? It's like a whole new sensation for me. What is this unique coloring? <laughs> it's... It's another perfect drink. <laughs> Stop joking around, you two old drunks. How does that make sense? <laughs> the ultimate special. How the heck does that make sense? Okay, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Because I think this is all one ending, no matter what. Let me see. Is it? Or is there one more? That was the bottom one. Yeah, it's all the same ending. Doesn't really matter. Okay. So now we go for the top one. Oh. All that for one ending. Eh? Here for the kitties this time. <laughs> here for the kitties, huh? <laughs> I suppose we do have a lot of cute cats here. They're all quite friendly. In fact, many other customers are here for the same reason. After all, there aren't many places in Mondstadt where you can just relax and interact with friendly cats. Huh. I've never seen such a bunch of arrogant and stubborn cats. I don't understand why people like them so much. Besides, shouldn't the main purpose for going to a tavern be drinking without getting cat hair in your beverage? What kind of reason is that? So long as they're cute, nothing else matters? Well, judging from the customers, that seems to be the case. <laughs> See? This traveler is here for the cats as well. However, you've come at a most unfortunate time. Our cats seem to have snuck out to play somewhere. Oh, if you're find. willing to wait, Diona here should be able to bring them back shortly. Huh? When did I agree to go fetch those little troublemakers? Consider it a task straight from tavern management. <laughs> Besides, the cats are quite fond of you, so you're the natural pick for the job. <sighs> They're probably just bored and wandering off to get people's attention. Is that so? <laughs> well, anyway, it'll be up to you to bring them back here. Oh, and didn't you say that you're here to see the kitties? If you're up for it, perhaps you could accompany Diona to retrieve them. Maybe after interacting with them for a bit, the cats will get to know you and seek more of your attention. The three cats that snuck out are Roger, Nelson, oh and Paisley. Oh my god, we're gonna find three Diona, cats. you usually take care of them, so you should be quite familiar with these three, right? Ugh, them again. And they even dare to sneak out during working hours. Don't they have any sense of duty as tavern cats? Come on, not every kitty can be as reliable and caring as you, Diona. I am not a cat! <laughs> Whatever. So all we have to do is bring them back to the tavern, right? 
place shouldn't be a problem. Let's scurry out of here. They love wandering around the center of town, so let's check there first. I'll leave you to it. In the meantime, I'll keep an eye on things here at the tavern. Once you've found the little rascals, please bring them right back. Okay. Follow Diana. Right here, Annie. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Their tracks end here. Looks like they ran off somewhere else. Ugh, don't worry. Those cats are very stubborn. But it's because they're stubborn that they're also easy to understand. <laughs> I have another idea. Let's pay a visit to Marjorie at With Wind Comes Glory. Roger broke his cat toy recently and I ordered him a new one there. Maybe he snuck out because he didn't have anything to play with. I... I only know these things because I want them to do their job and not mess around. Come on. Let's head over to Marjorie's store. Damn, it's already 5.30. <laughs> Talk, uh, follow Diana, okay. Oh, hello, Diana. You must be here for the cat toy you ordered. I just finished preparing it and made it extra durable according to your request. Your kitty should be able to play with this one for quite some time. Much appreciated. Marker will come and settle the fees later. No problem. So, that cat named Roger, is he usually at the cat's tail? <laughs> That's right. He's almost always in the tavern. Wonderful. I'll definitely make some time to head to the tavern and play with him. Oh, I see. Well, you're welcome to visit any time. I gotta say, you're awfully particular when it comes to taking care of that cat. <laughs> you even provided me a list of materials to use for his cat toy. Well, that's just because Roger tends to get excited whenever he plays with the customers. He always ends up ruining his toy. This time, we needed to make it more durable so that it would last longer. He usually just lounges on the cabinets when no one's around. You really think so? <laughs> well, I'm not interested in figuring out what those cats are thinking. They're just stubborn. That's how all cats are. Let's head over to Sarah at Good Hunter. She always makes Nelson's cat food. He's the one that always eats the most. And even though he's always eating, he somehow weighs the lightest. <laughs> <sighs> I really have no idea what he's up to all the time. Cat time. Welcome to Good Hunter. Oh, hey, Diona. How can I help you? Hello, Sarah. I'd like some more of that cat food I bought last time. Oh, is my favorite kitty, Nelson, hungry again? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on one moment. I'll have the kitchen prepare it for you. All right, here's the cat food. It hardly takes any ingredients to make, so it's on the house. <gasps> but please, if you can bring Nelson with you next time, everyone wants to pet him. Sure, I... I'll see if he wants to come. Nelson's not usually very fond of people, but as soon as he smells some dried fish, he'll do anything you say. And once he starts eating, ugh, he doesn't ever stop. Someone has to drag him away from the food. Kind of like the old drunks at the tavern. But the amount of food isn't too much this time, so it'll be fine if he finishes it all. All right, we have all we need for now. Let's go find Roger and Nelson. We'll deal with Paisley later. Roger always likes to sit in high places. Huh. Maybe we should go check the rooftops. Do you know how to get on top of the buildings here? If not, you can just wait down here and I'll take care of it. Really? You don't look like much of a climber. Let's go but up. But you say so. Let's go up and look for Roger together. All right. God damn it. thought we can point at least where... Uh, I got Venti. Wait, Venti is still up there. Speaking of Venti. Allah. Today's recommendation is the stage. Here we go. You're still here. Guess I shouldn't get too close to the cats after all. Damn it. But where are we supposed to find... Oh, 
Oh, I see. Which one is which now? God damn it, hold on. It's the toy, right? The first cat was Roger. Hey! Okay. You've got a pretty good memory! <laughs> That's right! Cat toys are Roger's favorite! Wow! He let his guard down almost immediately! Looks like he was just waiting for someone to come and play with him. Oh, that little rascal. He always looks so smug, but the moment he sees people, he suddenly becomes all loving and affectionate. No wonder the customers like him so much. The first thing they ask when they visit the tavern is if Roger's around. Eesh. Hmm. It's not here. Oh, behind. Huh. Yep. <laughs> I knew we'd find Nelson here. And he looks like he's about to fall asleep. Huh. Could it really be more comfortable than in the tavern? Anyway, let's take out the things we've prepared. I'll let you choose which to give him. The cat food. That's right. Nelson loves eating this stuff. The cat food will definitely make him happy. Hmm. Don't the customers at the tavern already feed you enough? <laughs> How can you still be so excited to see food all the time? Oh, and there you go, snarfing everything down as always. Why do customers like you so much? They even fight over who gets to feed you. Are you just pretending to be hungry all the time? Just to get the customers to come take care of you? Huh, what a cheeky little guy. No wonder customers completely forget about their drinks after seeing him. You should see the looks on those old drunks' faces when Nelson spills over their cocktails in the tavern. <laughs> <sighs> Go ahead, pick him up. He doesn't weigh much. I really have no idea how he stays so light. All right, let's go find Paisley. He used to always sneak out to go to the cathedral before. So, let's start there. Nope, he doesn't like either of the things that Roger and Nelson like. I'll tell you more when we get there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Aha! Just where I thought I'd find you, Paisley. Yeah, we don't need to do anything. Paisley doesn't fancy anything special. He just does whatever he's in the mood for. To sum it up, he's just a self-centered little cat. Even back at the tavern, he hardly ever interacts with any customers. 
Usually he prefers to just play with the other kitties. <laughs> but enough about Paisley. Let's just take him and head back. I'll pick him up. He doesn't usually run away when I carry him in the tavern. Uh, wait. You want to pick him up? I'm telling you, Paisley just ignores strangers. Does this end up a different ending? <laughs> <laughs> of course. In fact, Diona is our best bartender. Huh. Please don't misunderstand my work as a bartender here. It's actually the first step in my plan of bringing destruction to Mondstadt's alcohol industry. You've seen the drunkards stumbling around the city, right? No matter how well-dressed or honest of a person they actually are, once they start drinking, they become terrible people. Nothing good comes of alcohol. It makes people foolish, lazy, and ugly. That's why I plan on making the most disgusting drink there ever was. And she can't. Everyone will realize how terrible alcohol really is. That way, Monstet will finally be rid of alcohol and freed from its snarling teeth. Of course. And that's why I became a bartender in the first place. I must understand anything and everything there is to know about alcohol. This is the first step in my plan. What? I, I'm still experimenting. You know, it's more difficult than you think to make the most disgusting drink the city has ever tasted. Anyway, I'll find a way to make my diabolical cocktail and keep everyone away from alcohol. <sighs> Although I haven't discovered how yet, but I will. Anyway, didn't you come all this way to just see the cats? Now that all three of them are back in the tavern, why don't you go inside and play with them? Oh, and, and in return for all your help, I'll make a special drink just for you. Not alcoholic, of course. That's an ending. Kitten Queen. <laughs> Alright. So, what is the last one? Uh, there's probably something at the top here. Is it? Picking the wrong option? Wait, this one is mine. All three... Yeah, so... Yes, yeah, so during the... Catching the three kittens. Uh, I'm sure it was somewhere over there.
Where was it? Oh, cool. Is it the wrong option or is it? See that cat there? That's but don't get too close. Okay, so do you read So is it the wrong option that gives uh or does this just de deduct the hearts on you? Oh, let's use the cat food anyway. <laughs> Fine, have it your way. See? I told you it wouldn't work. Roger definitely would like the cat toy better. Now hurry up and get it out. Oh, that did that tree. <laughs> okay. Definitely that's not the right wow. way. Wow! He let his guard down almost immediately. Looks like he was just waiting for someone to come and play with him. Oh, that little rascal. No wonder the cut. Or maybe this is the different option. It's not the giving the wrong option. It's this one. Yeah, that's the problem. Who cares about specialty drinks when you have these fluffy little kitties to play with, right? <sighs> if you ask me, the tavern doesn't need any more new drinks to attract customers. Just get more cats and people will come. All right, let's yeah, bring along that. Roger and go find one. Nelson. Now Nelson likes places that. Okay, okay. It's not the wrong option, but it's that one. Uh... Still use the cat food then. You want the That's correct? Right. You want the correct answer, not the wrong answer. Hmm. Oh, and are you just for the what? This one. Take a hint from him? Ha! Huh, forget it. We should probably just get more cats at the tavern. They seem to attract more customers than my drinks. <sighs> go ahead, kick him up. All okay. right, let's go find Paisley. Nope. So, what happens if we pick that those options? Let's see. achievement as well. The unfathomable felines. Okay, so that's the fifth ending. Allah. Alright, I'm done with uh, Diana's story quest. That's one and a half hour. I need like two hours of free time to do one, each one. How many left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight more. <laughs> Eight more hangout events. Ah, la, la. Okay, well, that's done. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.